Hey everybody, Mr. Dandron here. We're gonna play the G major scale this time. It's gonna be a little bit harder. This one's located in your book number 184. 184. Turn, good. Okay, you're there. Awesome. So the first, first thing we're gonna talk about is at the very beginning of number 184, if we haven't reviewed this before, the two over four. Um, that means there are two beats in a measure. Normally that number, when we're starting off, is four over four, and that tells us there are four beats or four quarter note beats in a measure. In this case, for number 184, there are only going to be two quarter note beats. So you see the eighth notes, those are gonna go twice as fast. Um, so let's actually practice first by counting. And we're only going to count the first one, two, three, four, four measures, okay? Ready? One, two, ready, count. One, two, and one, and two, and one, two, and one, and two, and one. And let me turn the camera around and show you what that looks like if I were to follow it with my finger. And this is how I do it at home. Can I turn the camera around? I don't really know. I can't turn the camera around, so I'm gonna do this. Okay, it's one, two, and one, and two, and one, two, and one, and two, and one. Okay, so now the next step is that we're gonna count the first four measures of 184 again, but we're going to add an air bowing. So I like to do nose bows where I set my bow hold in front of my nose, check my right pinky, check my right thumb, and the hair should line up with the front of your nose. The reason I do this is because if you look at this part of my hand, when the bow goes up, bow goes up and down, it simulates a real bow stroke. And it forces your fingers to flex and kind of change, just like when you really bow. Okay, so we're gonna do one, two, and just like that. Hold your bow in front of your nose. The quarter notes are going to be a full bow length, one. The eighth notes are only going to be a half of a bow length, two, and. So we're gonna be mostly at the tip. Ready, starting at the frog, beginning. One, two, 184, and air bow, go. One, two, and one, and two, and one, two, and one, and two, and one. So if we look at our very first quarter note, let's do a little bit of bone mapping and talk about how the bow is gonna lay out on the string. So if we look at our very first quarter note, full bow, that's gonna put us at the tip. Are we gonna start this note up bow or down bow? Up bow, right? And that's only gonna be a half bow, so it's gonna be full bow to the tip, half bow to the middle, half bow back to the tip. Okay, when I put that on my instrument, it's gonna look like this. Sorry, let me make sure you can see my bow. Full bow, half, half. Okay, let's see if we can go all the way up to high G and not come back down yet. Ready? Ready and go. And full bow. Last G, since it's a quarter note, we're gonna use another full bow and go all the way to the frog. Let's try that together again. Ready? And full bow go. Full bow. The, uh, one more time, and this time come back down the scale. When we come back down the scale, we're gonna be at the frog half of the bow like this. Full bow. Now, the half bows are at the frog. Instead of the tip, okay? Ready from the beginning. One, two, ready, and go. And full bow. Lower half. Full 
full. All right, so we have two kinds of notes. We have quarter notes and we have eighth notes. Answer this question in your head. What kind of note is going to get a full bow? Okay, what kind of note is going to get a half bow? Okay, quarter notes get a full bow. Eighth notes get a half a bow. Let's look at the second half of number 184. This is where it gets a little tricky. We do the G major arpeggio. Okay, breaking down our notes. So we start on open G, and then we know we're going two notes higher. So using the musical alphabet, we know A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Right, because two notes higher. So we're going from G to B, so open. And then two notes higher than B. A, B, C, D is going to be open D. So we're going to play open, B, D, and we're going to land on high G. So starting in measure 5 of 184, let's see if we can play measure 5 and then the high G like this. Ready, and go, and... Ask yourself, did you play a full bow on quarter notes and a half bow on eighth notes? Probably not. Do it again. Ready, set. Measure five. 184, two. Ready and full bow first. Full. B. Now we're going to work our way down, starting on up bow on high G. Set your bow at the tip. At the tip. Set your high G on the D string. This is measure... One, two, three, four, five, six of 184. We're going to play G, then open D. Full bow. Half. Half. Full. All right, so all of 184 is going to sound like this. Feel free to play with me. I will repeat. Ready, set your bow. Check your right pinky. Always go through that pinky checklist before you start. Check your banana thumb. Check your index finger on its side. Perfect, here we go. 184, two times. One, two, really slow. Ready, go, and full bow. take that same finger pattern violin and violas and apply it to the D string in number 183. Make sure we're applying the bow stroke as well. 184, fast. Ready? Here's our tempo. One, two, and one, and two, and... If you missed a repeat, if you missed using half of your bow when you should have used full, if you missed the direction of the bow, that is the kind of thing I want you to stop and practice, okay? Don't practice the easy part.
practice the things you messed up on or else you'll always mess up on them. All right, much love. Peace.